and here is my cream sweet cream or sweet corn casserole 14 little circles out of this oh my gosh that's two teaspoons of cinnamon and here we are i didn't think it was gonna pop up that easily i gotta get to chopping those onions and you know what i forgot on my plate a piece of sausage and oh my gosh these are delicious isn't that cute and there that's the finished one i wish i had videotaped in there Howdy everyone, this is Trisha and welcome to my channel. Today I will be doing a Christmas lighted reindeer. So let me go over these supplies so we can get started on this craft. Okay, we're going to start off with the first item. This is our main uh, component of our arrangement. This is a reindeer and I found him at Ross and I really liked him because he has a cord and uh, there's some lights. It says a lighted decor. So. I brought him home and uh, I plugged him in. At first I thought, oh, it doesn't work because I don't see any, any lighting happening. He's beautiful, look at that, he's lovely and glittered. You know, he was, how much did I pay for this? $16, it was $15.99 and really I don't normally spend, you know, over 10 bucks for an item, but I did this time because uh, I just wanted him. And the main reason that I got him is because I'm doing arrangements as such and see this reindeer I've already done this uh, video for this uh, particular arrangement and that deer is brown with glitter also from the Dollar Tree I found these cute little reindeers look at that and they have that same brown a glittery finish I went to a store called at home and they had these beautiful reindeer ornaments they also have that same brown glitter now, I'm not much into a lot of glitter. I do like glitter, but not too much into glitz. But I decided that I would add some sparkle this Christmas. So this reindeer, I had to have him. But can you see the lights? I've got him plugged in right now, and I don't see the lights. The only way that we can see the lights is if we, is if we turn off all the lights in the house and the room is completely dark. Then we can see the lights, but we don't see him. And I can see one light trying to peek in right there. So my idea was, look at this, tisk tisk. it's coming right out of his little bum. I don't like that either. Okay, so I thought, well, I'm going to do some surgery. I'm going to cut in there, pull the string of lights out, but then um, I was doing a little bit of cutting, and then I was trying to tug on it to see, well, how difficult is it going to be once I do that? And I'm starting to realize those lights are probably tied up in there somehow, up the neck, and I'm not about to do that. I was going to return him and get another reindeer and I've looked around before I did that. I looked around at other stores and I uh, couldn't find anything that, you know, had the same look. I did, but there were other colors and then I thought, well, what if I cover them with glitter? I do have this brown glitter, I do have brown paint. But then I thought, those reindeers were 16, 15, the, the least that I found was 12.99. And I thought, well, Jason, I still have to paint it. So I said, no, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and keep this and I'm gonna do some surgery. I have to unplug this first. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut this off. Yes, yes, I am cutting it off. Boom, bye. I no longer see that. But I do have a little package of these little tiny lights. I don't remember where I got this. This is probably from Hobby Lobby. Knowing me, I probably grabbed it and decided to get it. This is a uh, 20 clear bulbs. It says Rice Style Lights. You can use anything. They do have little lights at the Dollar Tree, by the way. I got some batteries from the Dollar Tree because it's going to need some AA batteries. I am going to be using some garland to decorate him. And all I'm going to be using is these two little bundles. I've got some little poinsettias here and I've got some pine cones and berries. I don't know how many of these poinsettias I'm going to use. I may not use it all. These are from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to be using them because they're small flowers. I have some beautiful large ones from Hobby Lobby but you know what? This is a small uh, arrangement and I don't eat big flowers. Now also from the Dollar Tree I have this ribbon. I've already been using some of it. It's beautiful. It's plaid. It matches everything that I'm doing. This is the original ribbon that I've also been using so it matches just fine. I also have this ribbon that I, this one I got it at Hobby Lobby including this one but I think I'm going to use more of my reindeer one in combination with this one. I've already used it in another arrangement with a sled and they look really pretty together so that's what I'm going to use. I've got my glue gun, some glue sticks, 
scissors to cut my ribbon. I've got some floral wire and I've got my wire cutters ready. Okay, let's get to doing this because it's not going to be difficult at all. Basically what I'm going to show you is how you can use garland. And this garland I got it at Hobby Lobby. It's a $10 garland that I got for five bucks. It's nine feet, I believe. Yeah, nine feet. And I've been cutting little pieces from this. This is the second garland that, that I've gone through using it in my arrangements. I actually have more garland because it's a great deal, great sale. So I'm using this to create lots of my items. And I want to show you how easy it is to use a little piece of garland to decorate something like this. Now the first thing I'm going to do is obviously remove these tags. And I'm going to remove the little this little ribbon that it came with. I wasn't happy with that. I didn't like that very much. I'm going to take it off. It's glued, glued on there really, really well. It's got these little bells. Maybe I'll recycle those and use those. But I don't care for this ribbon. And it's not easy to tear off, let me tell you. So I'm just going to use my scissors and just get to cutting it off because, oh boy. And I'm going to cover that up, so I'm not going to worry about it. Stand up, little dude. Don't give me a hard time. Okay, let's just cut all that off. Won't let me, but I am going to do it. Okay. The rest of it is just a bunch of glue and a little bit of bits that are still stuck on there and I can't pull that off. And I'm gonna leave it, I'm gonna cover it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I want this, um, I want like a, a garland wreath around his neck and I want it to kind of drape down into his chest. So I'm going to measure around his neck. I think I can remove this now. Yeah, I think so. Okay. I'm going to measure, and I feel like this is probably going to be just the right amount that I need. I'm going to measure around his neck because I want it to drape down this way. Okay? So right here, right where I thought it, I was going to end up cutting it, is where I'm going to cut it. So let's take that off. I'm just going to shove this garland to the ground here, and I'm going to show you, because I think I did show you on my previous video, sorry about moving my camera, let's tip it over, it's not even on the same desk, but for some reason I can reach over and grab it. Okay, these little pieces that get cut off, save them, because you can use these for decorating your little ornaments that you hang on your tree. Okay, this is my garland, and of course it comes really flat because that's how they sell it. They don't poof it up for you. Don't just grab it and stick it into something. Make it pretty. So the first thing you do, put it flat on your table and then bring all the little branches forward and to the front and make sure that the wire, this hard wire that it's all on is laying flat on the table. This is how you're going to poof it. It's the easiest thing to do. Okay? It just takes a little time depending on how big how long the piece of garland is. And then all you're going to do is just poof it and make it look pretty. Get those little pine pieces up so they're not flat. Look at that. Look how much prettier it's already looking. Look at this, this half. How fluffy it looks compared to this part over here. And this is because I've already pulled some of these bits up. Okay, so let's fluff them up too. Let's make it all look really nice. Do that with your wreaths also. Fluff them up so that they look really pretty and full when you're decorating. Okay, so here's my piece of garland. Look how much fuller it looks already. It looks really nice. I could double this up if I really wanted it to be really thick. But that's, oops, sorry, again. That's another video. This reindeer, my goodness. Okay. And yes, he is shedding glitter everywhere. Let's bring them let's bring him over. Let's move the little camera just a tad over to this angle so you can see him. Okay. I'm going to take this garland easy peasy and just wrap it around his neck. I'm going to bend it right in the middle. Bring it around and down to the front and then I'm going to get the two ends, twist them together. Just two bits of the little garland branches. Twist them together. And then I'm going to bring him around his neck and bend this part down because I want it to, I want it to be like all cozy around his neck, but then I want it to shoot downward. Okay, so I'm just going to pull on it 
and just bend a little bit of the branches. And then I'm right here where all this nasty stuff is. I'm going to put lots of glue, position this, and then glue it down. I'm going to do the same on the other side. So I've got my glue gun ready. Yes, I believe I do. Thank you. All right, lots of glue right there. That's going to cover all that up. Not too much that it starts dripping down, okay? Just be careful. I'm going to do one side first. You see, you kind of have to bend the garland so it's awesome that it's on wire and I can bend it because I can manipulate it to fit the shape of his neck. Now, I can just poof it up right after I've done all this squishing. Get him on there. Get him glued so it doesn't move around. Okay, and now look at this beautiful garland, the way it kind of fills up as it comes down his chest. It kind of fills up and it almost looks like a swag created right here. Okay, so we can take more of these little pieces. Just at the little tips, I'm going to twist them together to keep them in place. Let me turn it around so I can look at what I'm doing over here. Making sure he's all nice and fluffed up here. Yes, and then I'm just going to direct these little bits, kind of curve them down into his chest. Look at that. I want you to look at it from both sides. And see how full that garland looks? From a little piece of garland. That was about, I'm going to say about 24 inches of garland that I used on this particular deer. So if you see those deers, you see a lot of the paper mache ones and they, they are covered with the gold, like gold leafing. You can do that to them and dress them up. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I want to put a pretty bow on him. And then I've got these berries and the flowers. So I'm going to use this plaid uh, ribbon and I'm going to use this one with the little deer heads. And I'm just going to put them together and I'm going to cut a yard trim it right there at one yard approximately look at that I've got two ribbons here one yard each and I'm gonna take just a little bit of a tail here pinch it take about six inches of a ribbon make a little loop so I have a three inch loop but it's actually six inches and then twist it so I have the reindeer part upward make another loop on the other side and then I'm gonna bring them up together make sure they're the right size I do have a video it's called creating handmade bows uh, where I show you the step by step and close up and slowly and I do different uh, three different styles of bows if you want to learn you can look at that I'm going to make a third loop on this side and then I'm going to leave this just like that I'm going to take a piece of ribbon about I mean sorry a piece of floral wire that's about I don't know six six or eight inches or so and I'm just going to tie that around like so and twist my bow so that my wire tightens up towards my ribbon and not this way, but otherwise that's just doing me no good. Okay, once I know that it's nice and tight, um, I'm going to take my little ends, cut them so that I have this cute little dovetail, chevron, whatever you want to call that. I've always called it a snake tongue, and I don't know. Everybody has a different name. Okay. Here we go. That's all I'm going to do, three little loops, and then I can take this wire, and if I don't want to glue it down, I can take the wire and wire it down onto the uh, front here, but I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on there as well, so I'm going to take the wire, and I'm just going to loop it with my little pliers, just twist it into itself to create a loop and a base where my glue can sit on, and then I need more glue in my glue gun, of course. Get that on there. Okay, someone asked me, what type of a glue gun do I use? I use a regular old glue gun. Ha ha. It is uh, from Surebond. That's the brand name on my glue gun. It's all nasty, but I'll show it to you close up, as you can see right there. Uh, it is a, a detailed glue gun, is what it is, because it has a finer little tip. And I like using this mini glue gun because I do a lot of little small details, and uh, that way I can get a... Uh, the glue right where I want it and not drop a big old glob of glue. Now, when I used to do floral design and I used to do a lot of production, I loved using a huge, you know, the big glue guns.
because I was always using glue, 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 glue. So um, it depends on what you're doing, what kind of a production you're doing. So um, whatever's more comfortable for you. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just pulling uh, the loops apart. Because remember, I overlap the uh, ribbons. So now I actually have a more loops to my bow. Okay? So I'm just going to open up this little garland bits so it doesn't squish my, my uh, loops too much. And then I can poof them. The ribbon is, the bow is not quite glued on there. What you want to do is you want to make sure the bow is dried it's glued and dried before you start poofing and moving it around otherwise you're just going to disturb it and it's just going to pull right off which is what it's doing for me but i'm doing this video for you so we're just going to pretend that's not happening okay separate my little tails here we go there's my little bow just like that okay i also used to use a little uh a little melting pot where you would drop little bits of the, the wax glue or the silicone glue i should say and uh, it would melt in there, and all I had to do was dip my little tips of my florals or whatever I was doing and then stick them to wherever I was doing. Ah, and I missed that little pot, and I haven't found one, so I'm going to see if I can get myself a little hot plate and do that again. But those are, um, that's what my glue, my glue gun is. It's just a simple little glue gun. This little glue gun is actually from uh, Hobby Lobby, and it was a gift to me. I specifically said this is what I wanted <laughs> for my Christmas gift, and that's what I got. Okay, so now I've got my little... Whoops, hello honey, stop falling, my goodness. Okay, he's drunk, he's a little drunk. He's had a little party night and you know, he's celebrating but now he's got to, you know, get his rest because Christmas is coming and he's going to have to be flying all night long. And then he can party afterwards. Okay, we're going to take the little tags off of our little bushes here. I'm going to push up these little, little bits on here and then I'm going to trim these stems about maybe an inch length on them. Leave that on there. Okay, there we go. And now I'm going to do, uh, let's see, I'm going to steal about three flowers from here. Oh, that's going to leave me nothing. <laughs> that's okay. I'm also going to cut them at about one inch. And I usually just cut up everything, but I'm just going to go ahead and push that aside. And I'm going to save these also to the side. I've already made my bow. Take my lights. And uh, hopefully they work, because, you know, I haven't even opened them. But, uh, you know, we're going to get them on there. If not, we'll find something, even if I have to use some plug-in ones. Okay, so I'm going to unwrap all of this, get my batteries in there, and um, I'll be back. All right, we're back, and I've got my little lights. They're on, and they're fantastic. And I feel like, oh, this is really nice length. And uh, I've got this little packet of... Um, of the batteries and I want to be able to you know switch it on and off easily so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a place underneath here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to wire it to the garland so I can just reach in flick it on and flick it off uh, whenever I need to do that so let's get some wire nice long piece of wire here there we go and I've got about 12 inches of wire and I'm going to work this under here, but I'm going to put him, I'm going to put it facing down, so all I have to do is reach under and switch it so I don't have to be looking in there for it. So I'm just going to wire him down right about here. Let's get that wire across. Where are you? Poke my finger again, get another little cut, that's what I need. Now, if you don't want to work with floral wire, you can use chenille stems to do all of this. The reason that I, I don't normally use chenille stems. I don't mind using them. They're awesome. They're great. They're very convenient and they're already cut up for you. Uh, the reason that I don't is because you see them through things sometimes and uh, I don't want to see it. Oh goodness gracious. I might need more than just one piece of wire. I'm trying to get it on there nice and tight so it doesn't move around on me. But I have a feeling it's going to move anyway. And it's probably going to slip right out, too. Okay, now I'm going to take this wire and wrap the garland around it and hope, hope everything's fine. Okay, I'm going to take some of this wire and I'm also going to, because it's got that little paper on there, I'm going to tuck it in there and wrap it around some of these little branches, or rather wrap the branches around that. 
and hopefully that keeps the uh, little battery pack from just sliding right out. All right, I had to cut away for a little bit because I needed to go in there and just turn my reindeer upside down. And what I did is I poured a little bit of, of glue on the wire that's going around onto the back of the, uh, to glue it to the back of the battery pack. And it's facing down. That's just so it doesn't slide out on me. What happened, it, it, was, it kept sliding out on me. So I wanted to make sure it doesn't do that again. So all I have to do is I, if I have to switch the batteries, just snip off the little wire and then rewire it again. And now what I can do is just reach under here and turn off the lights. The lights are now off. Switch it on again and the lights are on. Okay, just do that. Now, if you want to use a uh, uh, plug-in batteries, uh, that's also another good thing to do. So just uh, get your, make sure your, your plug is loose down here before you start uh, getting your little lights in there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just going to grab my lights and bring them around the garland and uh, arrange them so that I use up, uh, probably go around it a couple of times so that I arrange the little lights on there and then I can see them and uh, not hide the lights too much, just to uh, hide the, the wire in there. Just poke it and just make sure it's in there. So that's all I'm going to do is just go around it and my reindeer does not want to stand straight. And it was standing straight just fine before and I know why, it's because of the weight of the battery pack. So make sure you get yourself some plug-in lights. Okay, let me go ahead and um, get those lights on there and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back, <laughs> struggling a little bit with my reindeer. And I'm going to go ahead and start putting these little pigs with little pine cones and such on him. I'm going to put one of these little flowers right up here in the front. So what I'm going to do, or right actually in the back of his neck, I'm just going to bend this. And hopefully I don't knock him over again. And then just tuck it in there. When you're gluing things in and you have lights in there, what you want to do is you just want to be careful that when you are sticking something in, that you don't get the glue on the uh, wire. Now, you could just not glue it in and just kind of just poke them in and just tuck them here and there, and uh, then you don't have to worry about any glue. But you know what? I like to glue things in. I love to use my glue gun, so that's what I'm doing. But you could certainly just tuck these in and then use the same garland to wrap around the little stem on the back to hold them in place. And that would be so easy just to do that. And I'm going to put one of these pine cones coming down the front here, right under his bow. I feel like this has too many leaves. I'm going to take one off. Okay. And now that I think about it, I might just use the rest of the bits that were on the um, poinsettia bush there. Why not? Okay, let's go ahead and take one of these. I don't like that many leaves in there. It's up to you. You could actually take these little bits of leaves and put them in other little spots to fill in. This is a long piece here. Okay, so I'm going to put another pine cone. right about right here and the little berries tuck them in there Get the other one you want to just do the same thing you do on one side you can just do it on the other side I'm kind of alternating here I've got the berries and the pine cone on this and the and the I'm going to sit on this side and I've got berries on the top and the pine cone on the bottom. On the other side I have it the other way around. I'm going to go ahead and use this little bit because it's got some little berries on there. And I'm going to use the flower as well. Why not? I like to use things in threes or odd numbers I should say. Threes, fives, sevens. But I'm going to go ahead and use four in this case. I'm going to put this flower bottom here, little berries. I decided that this is sort of going to be my the front of my deer. So that is going to be the side that I want a little more decoration on. So I'm going to put these little berries right in there. Just kind of bend these little 
the the tails of my my bow so they're not necessarily shooting out. I'm just going to take the little pine cone from this. The little leaves from another one. Add more to it down here. Here's the other little bundle of leaves. I think I put my table a little too close to my shelf in the back. I keep hitting myself on the edge of the shelf there. So I'm kind of like, oh, I better not knock anything down. Okay, I got this little pine cone. Looks so pretty. All right. Here we go. And I'm going to put him right up here on top of the bow. Okay, so that's it. Our reindeer is decorated with a little scrap of garland, a couple of uh, bushes from the Dollar Tree, some leftover ribbon as well. And I just want to show you how pretty he looks from the front. Of course, I will have the camera pan on him. Look how beautiful he looks. What the heck? Oh, he was sticking down here. On the there we go. Look at that. It's beautiful. And I'm going to pan the camera on him so that you can see him in his full glory. And uh, please uh, make sure to give me a big old thumbs up. Leave a nice comment down below. Subscribe and make sure you share on your social media. So it really helps me a lot if you do that. And I want to thank everyone who has been subscribing. I'm, I'm overwhelmed. And uh, there's probably a better word, but I can't think of it. But I am really overwhelmed by everybody that's been subscribing. And I'm overwhelmed and delighted and happy. And just, I feel a lot of love from a lot of you. I've been leaving some really great comments. Thank you so much. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments. And I'll try my best to answer them. I didn't realize I was having so many comments. I, I get no pop-up notifications and I go ahead and I answer those that I see, but then I go back into my dashboard and I realize, oh my God, there were so many more comments. So if I, if you didn't get a response from me, don't think it's because I didn't like your comment or, or I just didn't care for it. Uh, I appreciate every single one of them, even if it's a little thumbs up, a uh, little emoji on there. I really appreciate those, even the long descriptive ones. I. I enjoy them all. I'd love to know where you're from. Some of you have been putting on there. I know some are from Pennsylvania and the UK and a couple of you from Texas. So I'd really like to know where uh, your viewers are, are, are from. So let me know in the comments below. And uh, as always, enjoy.